Joe Biden made Kamala Harris border czar to fix immigration. First, she ignored it. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I, I, at some point. Then she just lied. The border is secure. 10 million illegal immigrants, migrant crime out of control, fentanyl kills thousands. We have a secure border. Kamala Harris, <laughs> failed, weak, dangerously liberal. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. They're just getting started. Former President Trump releasing their new campaign ad criticizing Vice President Kamala Harris for her lack of effort of controlling the U.S. borders. A spokesman for the Harris campaign is saying in a statement that the Trump ad was an attempt to distract people from the Republican candidate's own immigration plans. Panel's here to weigh in. Derek Maltz is the former director of special operations for the DEA. Laura Reese is the director of border security and immigration at Heritage. Uh, welcome to you both. Laura, let me start with you. Talk to me about the impact of that Trump border ad. It's very effective, and it shows how Kamala didn't even believe what she was saying, and she certainly didn't convince Americans that the border is secure. They have eyes to see. Uh, they can see the videos, and they can feel the impacts of the drugs and the criminal aliens in their community. And so you know, it, it was a fantastic ad and the campaign needs to keep it up. And then, of course, we have this Vice President Kamala Harris coming back with their own ad against this one. Watch. On the border, the choice is simple. Kamala Harris supports increasing the number of Border Patrol agents. Donald Trump blocked a bill to increase the number of Border Patrol agents. Kamala Harris supports investing in new technology to block fentanyl from entering the country. Donald Trump blocked funding for technology to block fentanyl from entering the country. Kamala Harris supports spending more money to stop human traffickers. Donald Trump blocked money to stop human traffickers. Kamala Harris prosecuted transnational gang members and got them sentenced to prison. Trump is trying to avoid being sentenced to prison. There's two choices in this election. The one who will fix our broken immigration system and the one who's trying to stop her. Now, this is all rich, Derek, getting your thoughts on this. Uh, again, rebranding Harris as this candidate and not and forgetting that, oh, wait a minute. She's in the White House. She's been there for almost four years. She's overseeing root causes on the border. Your thoughts? Well, number one, reversing positions on these key issues will not fool the smart American people that are suffering every day. I work with the families, as you know, they're all, these kids are dying at record levels, historic levels, and the border czar failed miserably at her job. Now she's trying to distance herself from the border because the Mexican cartels are running the largest ever drug trafficking, sex trafficking, human trafficking. Uh, and, 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 you know, when you talk about every city in America is a border city, right down the road from my house, a 54-year-old grandmother was just run down into carjacking from this 21-year-old savage from El Salvador. So it's, a, it's impacting all of Americans and the Venezuelan migrant, the illegal migrant that shot the cop in San Antonio on Sunday. So the stories are starting to come out. But unfortunately, the American people are being deceived and the media is so corrupt that the people are misinformed and uninformed. So the bottom line is the funding the police is her policy. She supported the bail fund for the rioters that were burning down Minnesota. So she's yeah. got an alliance with you know, the cartels have an alliance with China, our biggest enemy, and they're supporting the Chinese nationals coming in at record levels. She owns that, and she's got the blood on her hands, and so does the president of the United States right now. Look, her approach to immigration is a complete 180 from what we heard from her in 2019 when she was running for president back then, running for the Democratic nomination, and of course what we've seen these past three plus years during the Biden-Harris administration. Uh, and Lauren, Laura, I think, you know, she was in Georgia just yesterday. She could have spoken about Lake and Riley. Again, that young woman who was killed at the hands of an illegal migrant um, who crossed during the Biden administration. Uh, will, there will they take any ownership for this disaster of the millions of people who's entered the country under their term? No, being on the left means never having to apologize. They don't take responsibility for anything. Uh, she's running away from the very fact that Biden 
asked her to lead on stopping the flow from our south of our border and to find the root causes, uh, which makes her a liar. Uh, it makes her a failure at her job, given the 10 million who've come in. And uh, she's no leader. Uh, when someone doesn't take responsibility and own up for it, that is not leadership. All right, we appreciate that discussion. Again, uh, campaigning just getting started and the shots are already fired. Derek Maltz, Laura Reese, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Speaking of shots,